Hi, I'm interested to know what agreements you have around defects. Um, yeah. Obviously, the quality control, but there's going to be a certain percentage I have that are coming through when yeah. I've just been absorbing them. I've never thought about having an agreement in there about defects. Yeah. I'd like to know what sort of agreements Sure. I, I in my yesterday we did an hour on contracts, so check out that video. But is the headline information? I explained yesterday that uh, in 17 years of buying from China, I've had a lot of defects, I have a lot of mislead times, but never once did a supplier say, "Let me replace those for free. Let me FedEx you the replacement parts." Never once until I put it into my contracts that here is the agreed standard. If you miss the lead time or the product is delivered non-conforming what happens. They need to replace the parts at their expense. Then the suppliers started to adhere to it. But if you don't spell it out and agree in advance under signature, good luck trying to negotiate after the fact. And suppliers love customers like you that don't place a contract. They'll send you a defect on purpose, just a few defects, 5%. If you're saying, why would a supplier send me defects? They're locking you in on the next order. Oh, I'm sorry we sent you 5% defects. Somehow it slipped in there. Let me give you a refund on the next order. Let me add them on at my expense on the next order. Now they've locked you in on the next order. So sometimes def sending defects is a great tool to lock in the customer if that customer is not smart enough to use contracts in advance. And I've gone to court in China and the judge looked at my contract and said, okay, it's pre-agreed that a 5% discount every day that the order um, is not shipped. And it, the judge didn't really have to work that hard, just told the supplier, you owe Mike $10,000 know, $10, at this point. So a contract does have teeth if it's well written.